What's poppin' homies, it's your boy Frank Nitty back in the building, back in the sneaker room, back with the groom bed. That's right. Salute to Jason Green, man. Thank you. Also, if you got any recommendations of what I could use for oils, essential oils, any natural substance to moisturize the beard, let me know. Leave in the comments down below. Email me, DM me on Instagram or Twitter, whatever have you, whatever works. Anyways, let's cut to the chase, man. Y'all know where y'all here. I know a lot of you guys like my Nike outlet videos, and sometimes you're wondering, what do I pick up in the stores? Well, this video is about all my pickups, what I copped, uh, for the last couple weeks, man. So if you guys want to see it, man, about my fits, what I put together, what I'm into, what I'm looking for, and what I currently have, stay tuned. Yo, before we get into these pickups, let's talk about the shirt I got on. Yeah, I remember a couple videos back, I talked about I was gonna get another Jay-Z Tour t-shirt from 2010, so here it is. This came from eBay, straight to the washing machine, onto me. It's a medium, I think I paid like $15. For this shirt kind of into t-shirts some vintage tees but also got some new tees and peep what i caught oh almost forgot man peep the back those are all the venues and locations he'd been to during that tour in 2010. mind you i didn't go my homie did which he purchased me the original t-shirts i shot in one of my videos back and this is the second toy t-shirt that i actually purchased myself off of ebay anyways man let's get into these pickups Bro, it's been, I don't even know how I'm gonna do this video, bro. I don't do these videos. I'm gonna have to do voiceover or something. Marble video. Yo, this video is gonna be a little bit different, man. I'm gonna try to show you guys my pickups. Sitting down. I haven't done a clothing type vlog in a minute or a video where I show you what I purchased, try them on, show how it fit. Anyways, we're gonna get through it, man. I got an idea how I would like to do it. All right, so you got this all black Nike t-shirt with the international flags within the Nike swoosh and it says Nike FC. I'm not sure what the FC stands for, who knows, but I like this colorway for multiple reasons. All black shirt, which I'm a fan of, and also the hits of gold. The word Nike's in gold and the swoosh outline is also in gold. It will good great with some Air Max 1s, the all gold joints, and also the Air Jordan 1s, all platinum leather. Not the top threes, the other joints with the toe box are the same colorway. Y'all see the images floating up on the screen because I'm literally going to do a voiceover on, on all of these clothing. This shirt is a medium and I believe I paid $21.99 with 30% off, so whatever that comes out to, like $14. Cop this at the Nike outlet on International Drive, man. Next up, this is kind of unique, right? So this shirt right here, here. all black shirt white and blue and yellow I got these for the Laney ones the yellow is not really the exact same hue but it's close enough I think it'll be a great match all black shirt which I'm a fan of and I caught this for like 12 99 i think i got it in the size large though is there any additional discount can't remember but this came from the nike clearance store on international drive man and despite it being a converse shirt you know what i'm saying it is a nike company so i think it could fly right i get a pass for that converse and nike let me know in the comments down below now this next shirt is fire in my opinion man this is a purple red and all black nike shirt i got this shirt for two reasons the number one reason, and what I thought was the number one reason, was the Air Jordan 1's court purples. I thought it would be a great match. But then I got to the crib and I realized I got the Raptor Force. And the Raptor Force colorway is more identical to the shirt. And if you flip the shirt over, looking at the heat check, it got a whole bunch of cities of where you can play basketball at. And I think this shirt goes better with these Air Jordan 4 Raptors than it do the court purples. But either which way, I could flip it however I choose to, man. I think it's a dope shirt. Um, it's like a Halloween theme. It got the basketball similar to a pumpkin with the flames coming out of it on the front of it. I think it's dope, man. Also copped this shirt at the Nike Clearance Store International Drive. And I believe I paid like $12.99, right? With like 30% discount. I believe that's what the price is. Go ahead and fact check me. Yep, $12.99 with 30 off. Yo, this last shirt is pretty much a simple shirt, but I like it because of the price. I like the material. This is an all gray Nike t-shirt. It's a size small. And also I believe I paid $14.97 with 30% off. So it definitely came under $10. I think you do the math, I can't remember. Nevertheless, man, I like the color hue of this. I like the simplicity of this shirt, man. All gray shirt with a hit of grayish 
in the background of the shirt, but not overwhelming. And also with the Nike swoosh sign in all white. Very minimal shirt, very good price. And you can wear this shirt with a plethora of different shoes. So here's a few pictures of the shoes I decided I would rock this shirt with. First off the back, you know I got to throw a Jordan 1 in there, man. These are Jordan 1 mids, camo, all gray, and also got the 3M as well. Next, the acronym Prestos, man. Why not, right? You got a gray, black, white shoe. I think that that contrast will go great with this type of shirt. And also the Air Max 97 Silver Bullets, right? Just the name of the shoe speaks volumes by itself. Silver Bullet, Silver Shirt, Gray Shirt. I think I can make that happen, man. And last but not least, man, you guys probably haven't seen this shoe. Maybe you have, I don't know when you start following me, but this shoe right here is the Air Jordan 1 that came in the pack. I forgot the name of the pack, but it's pretty much weave material of a Jordan 1 and it's in gray and black. I think this shoe would go dope, dope with this, this shirt. I think you could make this work, man. What you guys think? All right, let's move on to the fall and winter wear, man. So I got a few hoodies. Let me know what you guys think. Right off the back, I had to get this, man. This is a Nike SB hoodie. I think it's SB. I think it says SB on the sleeve. Remember, I'm doing this off of memory because I'm in a chair. I can't do my normal format when I'm standing up. So, I'm, you know, every, things change, man. Things evolve, man. And also, you guys are also seeing uh, my B-roll of me wearing the clothing and pictures of the items as well. But anyways, I like this NBA shirt. And if you guys haven't thought of what shoe you would throw with this, what first came to mind? Me being a Jordan 1 collector, what shoe in my collection you think I would throw this shoe or this shirt against? That's right, the top threes. The Air Jordan top threes with the red, blue, and white colorway, man. Match the NBA logo, man. It's only right that I would throw this hoodie with those shoes, man. Um, also, I think of another shoe you could throw on with this as well, and I think that's the K1s. Yeah, I remember they came out last year. Same kind of colorway, but down the all black shoe, but the back of the heel has different colors. The left shoe is blue and the right shoe is red. You can interchange the laces as well. That whole shoe, both shoes do have a mixer and different patterns of red, blue, and black. So I think this sweater and those shoes will go dope together. All right, here's another hoodie, man. This one speaks volumes. This pretty much can wear with anything. I think I got this for the comfort, the style, and there's no other than a tech fleece jacket, man. All black tech fleece with the Nike on the left chest. And you got that V pattern shape with a zipper and a hoodie. Uh, I copped this shoe at the Nike outlet in Tampa. Kinda hefty on the price. That joint was $89. I'm thinking about taking it back and see if I can get it on the sale, like maybe a 30% sale or something coming up in the future. If they ever do one, I'm gonna haul off on actually pulling the tag off this joint and rocking it. Now I like the fit, I like the colorway, I like the form, I like the fact that it's a hem hoodie as well. Everything speaks volumes of me keeping it other than the price. But if you guys are interested, man, I think they're probably in your local outlets if you guys go and check the winter wear that they have, that's just they're dropping. But this tech fleece is a must cop, man. Everyone that haven't had or purchased any tech fleece, man, it's worth it. I know it's pricey, but you can probably get them on sale once in a while, man, so keep looking. And last but not least for my clothing pickup is another tech fleece jacket. This one came courtesy off of Nike.com. This one didn't have the hefty price tag of the previous one, the all black joint, but I love this colorway, man. It's a very soft, subtle colorway, more like a fall color. You can definitely rock this with any type of shoes, predominantly white if you choose to. You can definitely get away with, the, with black and any shoes or any colorway or hue in between. This is a very casual type of jacket. The one thing I would mention is what I don't like that I like on the previous jacket is the hem format of the actual tech fleece jacket. This doesn't have a hem format, it just have a rounded curvature bottom of the jacket, which I prefer hem overall. Man, that concludes the pickups for all the shirts and sweaters I purchased from the Nike outlet and even online. Now I got some other pickups I'm gonna show you. Hope this video is not too long and I hope I'm not rambling. So I'm gonna get right into it real quick. Next we about to go over some kicks that I picked up in the last week or so. Some of them you have seen before, some of you haven't. So let's get into it. Yo, I think this video is long enough, man. So I'm just gonna show you one shoe cause I actually, I'm thinking about getting rid of it. Let me know your thoughts. These are the Jordan Mellows, the 1.5 SE. Now I got the shoe for hooping. I got it for a great deal and I decided not to pass up on it. So I said, let me get it in hand and, and think about if I wanna rock this shoe. Here it is. The Air, well, I won't say Air Jordan, the Jordan 1.5 Mellows SE, I guess a special edition, all black joint. I like all black shoes. You do have the XLT on the side, along with Carmelo's signature, or rather script. Air Jordan wing logo on the medial side of the shoe. Predominantly all 
black. Um, I even know what type of material this is. Neoprene, maybe, throughout the whole shoe with that little carpet fuzz in the back, man. I don't even know what you want to call that. Shag carpet feeling <laughs> with his number in the back 15. I also have his number and the date 529.84. I believe that's his birthday, possibly. Could be wrong. Jordan Jumpman on the bottom left medial side of the shoe with the word ear. I don't know what color that you want to consider this orange and blue strip, just like a little rubber strip. At the bottom of the shoe, rope laces, nothing too fancy. Carmelo Slatung, and that's about it, man. Don't think I'm gonna keep them. I think I'm gonna get rid of them. Don't want them. Just wanna try them out to see if I, if this is the shoe I can get behind, and, and I can't, man. It's not even my steed uh, for his hooping. Is this a, is a uppercut? It's an uppercut. It's a high cut. I would prefer mid like the Kobe's. So this shoe is definitely going back, man. But anyways, I just want to show you guys the shoe. I got more sneakers to show you, but that's going to be another video because this video is way too long. So that is a tease. So if you like this video, like what you just saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that notification bell as well. Everybody else, man, keep leaving your comments down below and your boy will get back to you as soon as possible. Until then, man, you already know my slogan. Good to go.